Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review. It has been an MLS loaded day on the channel. And today I bring you this Maxi Morales 92 rated center mid who plays for New York City FC. Fun fact, I did get to see him play live and obviously he is elite level for the MLS. He was just making the MLS players from Colorado and New York City look like chumps, man. You can tell quality when you see it Maxi Morales incredible team of the season so far card 91 pace 90 shooting 92 passing 95 dribbling 75 defending and 76 physical he has a little bit of everything he honestly reminds me of Papu Gomez to be honest 99 acceleration 81 sprint speed 81 sprint speed might be a problem so I might have to increase that I have put a dead eye on him but now that I'm looking at the 81 sprint speed that might be a problem so we'll see if I do change up the chemistry style but 99 acceleration he should read top top speed in no time get past defenders like it's nothing on to the shooting of a 90 really good shootings for a center mid yeah I am definitely gonna be playing him at center attacking mid because he just do a, abuse that shooting and passing 93 attack positioning 91 finishing and it's basically maxed out with that dead eye chem style on to the passing of 92 elite level passing as well 95 vision 92 short passing and 90 long pass is what you love to see 94 curve as well I am definitely gonna be finessing with this guy and then on to his best that talk about meta 99 agility 95 balance man these mls cars are so meta opara martinez what's his name bella all of these players are super meta in this game and add maxi morales to that list 91 reactions 93 ball control 95 dribbling should help especially with the four star skill moves he is clutch at 93 composure and then guys he has uh, 66 interceptions 70 defensive awareness and 85 standing tackle how tall is he he's five 5-2 guys he's 5-2 and he has those defending stacks that is ridiculous and lastly the physical traits 99 stamina should last the whole game 98 aggression but that 50 strength oh my goodness that's gonna be a problem but hopefully the balance and aggression offset that 50 strength and on to the traits, injury poem, playmaker, and technical dribbler. Guys, I cannot believe this card is under 50k. I bought it for 50k earlier in the day, and I was playing a couple games before reviewing him. And man, I fell in love with him. Hopefully, he can perform the next couple of games. He is 5'2", like I said, super sure. That's why he reminds me of Papu Gomez and Insigne. High, high, good work rates for a center mid, but I am going to be playing him at center attacking mid. Like I said, 4-star, four 4-star, four wonderful combination to have. So excited to try out this Maxi Morales. Let's get on to the review, guys. So this is gonna be a boys over review on this Maxi Morales team of the season so far card Like I said you you guys wanted it on Instagram I asked who you wanted me to review the most from the MLS and Maxi Morales was one of the top options and I don't blame you man He is definitely the cheap Papu Gomez. He's currently going for around 43k on PlayStation and 47k on Xbox and That is a fantastic value for the player you are getting very well-rounded card very meta card honestly I'm not gonna lie all the MLS cards are meta to be honest but anyways let's go on to Maxi Morales and breaking it down into sections first the pace that 99 acceleration guys oh my goodness you're gonna see a lot on these clips that he's just running away from defenders like it's nothing like he just enjoys doing it for fun and definitely he hits top speed really fast but then one drawback is that low sprint speed I did increase it a little bit but man it's 81 sprint speed it's just a little bit of a letdown I'm not gonna lie but it's not felt as much if you are playing him in that cam role which I was if you are playing him as striker you definitely will feel that low sprint speed so I definitely do encourage you to increase that sprint speed on to the shooting guys fantastic shooting man incredible stuff I played him with a dead eye and that basically maxed out his shooting and it definitely showed on the pitch four games five goals from the cam position that should tell you everything that this Morales can do from a shooting standpoint so yeah really good there that shot power is phenomenal the finesse is really good and also what helps him out is that weak foot because it makes him less predictable when coming up on one-on-one -on -one opportunities with the goalie now on to the passing of 92 guys really good as well he did manage to grab him as himself three assists in four games so he was doing a little bit of everything you're gonna see a lot of good passes to Martinez you're gonna see a lot of good passes to Ben Yedder and to who else was the other person Hazard player of the moment Hazard good passes to him they couldn't finish to get him more assists but I definitely could have gotten at least seven assists in three games or four games I believe and that it just shows 
tells you how good his passing is really good stuff you can definitely play him at center attack in mid and center mid because his passing is just out of this world and now on to the dribbling of 95 man talk about meta one of his better stuff better stats in my opinion is that agility because you are just a lefty dribbling you're gonna see a goal i remember i was running down and then i stopped with him did a left kick just left kick dribbling to the left and he turned so fast and that is due to that high agility well basically the maxed out agility and he scored it in the back of the net a lot of the stocky op defenders are gonna have a problem with this morales card because that agility and balance is just super meta and then he is 5-2 guys he is so short he has a low center of gravity just like a Messi does and yeah he definitely shows right there on the pitch really good stuff from the Argentinian the composure really good as well 93 he's super clutch I did not have a problem with his clutchness when it came to finishing or making a key pass and then the dribbling like I said good combination with the four star skill moves really good stuff there you will have a lot of fun with this card if you do decide to use him and then a big thing that surprised me was that 75 defending man this guy is just a headache I was pressuring like crazy on some opponents and this guy was intercepting was standing tackle and you can definitely feel that 83 standing tackle yeah I included a lot of clips of him just tackling people and getting the ball back and intercepting which is a phenomenal man really good stuff from the defending on a center attacking mid and then the physicality guys the strength might be low of 50 but what really helps this card is that aggression and balance he was staying on his foot most of the time and that is a wonderful thing I think off a corner you're gonna see I put it on there there was some Upamecano I believe came and tackled him hard and he was staying on his foot that is wonderful man talk about meta and that is definitely the definition of meta this Maxi Morales really impressed me a lot so as you can tell I was really impressed with this Maxi Morales team of the season so far card he definitely exceeded my expectations in that role he got a lot of goal contributions man eight goal contributions in four games which does include two rage quits it's just a fantastic thing to see from uh, the Argentinian from New York City FC and now on to his only con guys this guy does not have many cons because he's just so meta in this game so broken but the con is the league that he plays in man not a lot of people are gonna use MLS size with New York City FC so you are gonna have to rely on that Argentinian league or the icon links if you are a Maxi Morales fan or you want to play with this card I definitely do recommend if you are one of those fans and you want to play him in your squad definitely give him a try because he is an incredible player on the pitch and also another thing that I forgot to mention was his high high work rate and that is a perfect work rate for a center mid or if you want uh, just to have him at cam he kind of plays like De Bruyne when it comes to the work rate because he is definitely in that back helping out on defense and then, then he is super rapid to get on the offense you're going to see a lot of runs also of him running from basically my defensive line all the way to the other attacking side in no time and that is just due to that 99 acceleration which leads to goals leads to assists leads to good offensive opportunities but anyways that will conclude the game portion of the review hopefully this helped you out like i said in deciding what you want to do with this maxi morales team of the season card whether you pack them in your red picks or you get them in your blues definitely give them a try if not just put them as a super sub and he will create some problems he will grab some late goals some late assists and some good w's in the weekend league but anyways let's go on to the final thoughts on this Maxi Morales team of the season so far card so this Maxi Morales team of the season card man he left me impressed he exceeded my expectations like I said and that's why he's gonna garner a 9 out of 10 rating from Foot Leo FC the only reason I take out a star like I said in the gameplay portion of the review is just because he plays in the MLS and it's really hard to link him up unless you have Argentinians or icons but aside from that this card is broken super meta and a really fun card to use and I want to recommending Kim Styles number one is gonna be a hunter guys if you're gonna be playing them in a more attacking role maybe a striker definitely a hunter to increase that spring speed of 81 and basically max out the shooting brings up the finishing 296 and you are good to go but if you are gonna be playing them in a more midfield role I would suggest a dead eye just to max out the passing and the finishing and the shooting and you'll be good to go this guy will be really good in that midfield role and now is he a foot chance player absolutely guys this guy is a cheap starter he passed 
this is a foot leo fc four starter and yeah man really good you are gonna definitely see him in some weekend league teams because he's really cheap and really good and lastly the similar players number one is gonna be that team of the season papu gomez and then the second one is gonna be that team of the season jovinko i mainly put them because they are super meta they are very small and very effective on the pitch and i think those are two really similar players to him nothing compares to maxi morales just because he is so much cheaper than both of those options so if you can't afford papu gomez or jovinko definitely look at maxi morales but anyways that'll conclude this review guys before i let you go i just want to say thank you so much for your support on instagram and youtube lately y'all have been killing it with the support and i love seeing that don't forget to follow me on instagram under foot leo underscore fc if you have any questions don't hesitate to dm me or comment down below don't forget to subscribe for more team of the season content and please guys do me one favor and take a second out of your day and like this video so i can know that you're loving these reviews this is leo i bid you goodbye and good night